Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be diving into two big announcements that Roku had. They had a ton of announcements today, but we're going to dive into two specific ones. A new Roku Remote Pro. Now this is the second generation of their Pro Remote with things like hands-free voice commands and now new features like a backlit um, remote buttons and Roku OS 13 has also been announced. Now, if you followed us for a while, you know last fall we broke the news that a new Roku remote was in development. Uh, we had photos of it back then. That's this remote. That remote we saw last fall is now officially announced as the Roku Pro Remote 2. And Roku OS 13, which we um, reported earlier this year was in development and in beta testing with developers, is now available uh, or becoming available, rolling out to Roku television and Roku streaming players. So what's new here? What exactly do you need to know about those? We're gonna break that all down here in a second. First, if you wanna learn more about each of these topics, I will pull links to stories covering the full details of them in the first pinned comment and in the show notes down below. If you're new here and you wanna help us grow, consider hitting that subscribe button or hitting that thumbs up. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us expand, and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of TV, but still watch the shows you enjoy. So with that said, let's dive into this, starting off with the new Roku remote. Now the Roku remote uh, Pro 2 is an upgraded version of the current Roku Pro remote, it includes many of the same features. For example, built-in rechargeable battery, um, a uh, the back, or excuse me, hands-free voice, Control, so you can say, hey Roku, and open YouTube TV, play, pause, power on, power off, that kind of thing, so you can do it without needing to press a button. Some of the new features in this includes backlit button, so it's got a built-in motion sensor, so when you pick up your remote, it will automatically detect it's moving and enable the backlit buttons. The built-in battery is actually 50% larger for a longer battery life, and more importantly, they ditch micro USB and now have put USB-C into the Roku Pro Remote 2. Now this is a great feature here. Many people have been very upset that the um, micro USB was still being used. I know it was one of the few, and I mean very few devices out there I still own, or at least regularly use, that still use micro USB, which is really nice. Now there's a few other big changes here. On the actual remote, there is now a guide button that launches the Roku guide. Now in the Roku guide, you have access to all of your antenna channels, plus a bunch of live channels from sub either subscriptions through the Roku channel or all the free channels from the Roku channel in a guide format. Now for Roku TV owners, this is really cool because you can quickly now jump to your antenna with the click of a button. Um, and you can also access all their live TV channels right there. So Roku's really pushing its guide of live television through it, uh, which I really do like. Now the other change here is older Roku Pro remotes had two programmable buttons. These are buttons you could say, hey, I'll, I'm a big CBS Sports fan, or I'm a big Paramount Plus fan, and my, button, my remote didn't have a built-in button for that. So I'm a custom programmable button to go to those two features. That's been replaced with one button. Instead of them being numbered, it now has a rocket ship on it for some random reason. Remember when we first saw this remote, we had questions, what's that rocket button do? Well, it's a programmable button that you can plug in and be able to access a specific channel like YouTube TV, um, Paramount Plus, and the like. So it's very easy for us to um, get that. Now the downside is you only get one programmable button instead of two because one of them now became a guide button. Don't know if that's gonna be a big issue for many people. You leave me a comment, let me know. But that's really the big changes here with the new Roku Pro Remote 2. It will come bundled with the new Pro Roku television line. Wouldn't be surprised if like with the older Pro Remote, we start seeing bundles with like a Roku Express 4K or the new stick. You know, we've seen them do that in the past. So very possible we could do that again. It will be available as a standalone sale through Roku's website and other providers in the future. I'll put a link to that in our story down below. Now let's talk about Roku OS 13. Roku OS 13 is a huge step forward for um, um, the older ones, but graphically it looks the same. I know a lot of people had hoped for a four x four um, breakdown here with new, um, the smaller icons that were more fit on the screen. Right now, it's still showing the three x three. No word I got if they're ever gonna make the four x four an official option to go available for Roku OS. Beyond that, many of the other features are back-end features, except for a couple. There are many bug fixes and improvements in there, 
But Roku also is rolling out a few other things. For Roku television, start with the Pro Series and like automatic picture um, detection. So if you're watching sports, your Roku TV will automatically set itself to a sports setting. If you're watching a movie, a sim, a TV show, it'll try to adjust its settings to best fit what content you're watching with local dimming and um, refresh rate and the like, which will hopefully give you the most um, high quality image no matter what you're watching. Often we set it to sports or movies and then every time we maybe start watching sports, we don't change it into a sports setting or when we start watching movies, we don't change it to a movie setting. Roku uses um, technology to detect what you're watching to be able to adjust the television to best match that. We'll see how effective it is. That is a setting you can turn on and off, so it will allow you to do that. There's also something called Roku Backgrounds now. It's basically a high-end screensaver with a bunch of high-end art that turns your television into a work art. Now you can, like you have been able to with Roku televisions in the past, upload images of your own, but you'll also be able to select from a long list of very high quality um, works of art to pick from to turn your television into either a single art or a rotating piece of art so that when it's not being used, it can still be a beautiful centerpiece. If you're having a party, maybe you don't want a black screen in the middle of your living room, maybe you want it to be displaying photos of your kids or maybe just a generic work of art, for example, that's coming here. Not necessarily groundbreaking, it's happened in the past, It'll be available on Roku TV soon and later to Roku streaming players, which is a kind of a cool feature here. Um, the ability to what your TV is when it's not being used has become a big selling point. Samsung had those frame TVs that make it look like a picture. Amazon Fire TV has those AI generated art pieces. And now Roku is really uh, pushing more into that with backgrounds. Beyond that, very limited new improvements here. Um, now Roku has a history of rolling out new features but not announcing them. We often, when we get new Roku updates, you dig around and you may discover cool new features like guest mode, which wasn't necessarily announced when they did it. So we'll have to keep a very close eye on this. But I think the big features here are gonna be the new Roku remote, the new bug fixes, the new automatic picture adjustment. I'm actually very excited about this. Like I said, it's optional if you don't like that. If you do wanna permanently lock your television to sports mode or into cinema, movie mode, whatever you wanna call it, that's an option too. And the backgrounds, I do like that. Um, I know I've in the past used their feature where you could upload to your Roku television photos of your family and have it rotate. Now though, you can upload and have a ton, or um, you're that still your own, but pick from a ton of works art. So if you're, like I said, having a party, having something happen, you can have that happen. You can have that display. The last feature is the Roku Cities getting a slight update. It's gonna include cars now. You're gonna see cars drive by and you're gonna see some new hidden things, I, I can almost guarantee you, in the Roku City as they're giving it a free refresh. Well, there you go. What are you excited about with the new Roku um, features? We'll have a separate video later looking at the new Roku TV Pro line. This is Roku's new high-end uh, Roku TV brand from Roku. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.